Hey everyone, welcome back to Hardcore. Today we are trying to tackle Lead Crew 125, the Violet Palantrum. So we will be solving this problem in three different ways. Each approach offering a unique insights into string manipulation and validation techniques. So in this video, we will explore the basic method using the string manipulation and slicing, and a second approach using two pointers for comparison. A third, more optimized approach that checks for the alphanumeric characters on the fly. So these solutions will help you build a strong foundation in handling palindrome and string processing for the coding interviews. Before we get started, I want to remind you about our exclusive blind sign for post. This carefully curated collection covers essential coding interview problems to help you master the most common patterns and excel in your interviews. Whether you are prepping for FANG level interviews or just sharpening your problem solving skills, these problems will ensure you are ready for anything. Even if the exact questions aren't asked, they cover all the important patterns. So be sure to check out our playlist and stay ahead of the competition. Wallet Palindrome a phrase is palindrome if after converting all uppercase letters into lowercase letters and removing all non alphanumeric characters. It reads the same forward and backward. Alphanumeric characters include letters and numbers. So, given a string S written true if it is a palindrome or false otherwise. So, basically, the string uh, like we should do some manipulations to the string and then uh, we should ensure that uh, we only have alphanumeric characters. So, let's say alphabets and numbers only you should have and then uh, uh, we should not uh, do like the straight conversion. We should do the uh, like lowercase conversion because we need to do case ignore, right? Because like this a won't be equal to small a. That's why uh, we need to do case conversion. That's a basic checks given here. Okay. So in the example, we see that this was given. So here, what are non alphanumeric characters? This comma and this colon. So uh, and the spaces should be removed. So and after that, we should convert into lowercase letters. And we need to check if it is a palindrome. So since it's a palindrome, like palindrome is what basically even like first and last characters and like subsequent first and last should match. That's a palindrome. So here it's a palindrome. So raise a curve. So this is not a palindrome. If we don't have this A in, in between, it would be a palindrome, raise curve. Because like C, R, R matches, A, A matches, C, C matches. And then if you have E, that would be like uh, in between. So that's not comparable and it's the same if we read from the first or end uh, last. So uh, if only the A makes it not palindrome, if we don't have it this A, it would be a palindrome. So third case is a base case. So it's an empty string, we remove this right, uh, all non alphanumeric characters. After that what we get is just a simple empty string and then it's basically it reads the same uh, forward and backward. So it's a palindrome. So constraints, right? So what are the constraints? The string length lies in between the 1 to 2 into 10 power 5. So and S consists of a printable ASCII characters only. So this means to say that we can do in O of n time because like O of n square is 10 to the power of 10 uh, and then that would be like only 10 power 8 operations possible per second. So 10 power 5 operations can be done. So we can do this in O of n or O of n log n. But O of n is possible here. We just need to iterate all the characters once, right? That's all. So how do we do this? We need to remove all non alphanumeric characters. That's the first check we do, and then we remove it. And the next thing is to convert all these capital letters into small case letters. Okay, that's the second step. And the third step is we need to check if it's a palindrome or not. So basically, we need to check if it reads the same forward and backward. This is the third step. So you got the algorithm, right? So let's do this. So let's write the code for this. So firstly, uh, we know right what to do. First, we have to check only for the alphanumeric characters. So what are alphanumeric characters? We've been discussing so much, right? So first, you should contain only in the case of like uh, capital letters or small letters and only the uh, numbers 0 to 9. So these are the only alphanumeric characters. So uh, so first case, we need to collect this to our one string like by uh, doing all this modification. So for that, we need to have a string uh, defined, right? Uh, variable. So let's define the string res is equals to some empty string. So for, and then next step is to iterate over the string and then form our result. So how do we uh, do this? So we we have this like we uh, we have to iterate each character. So for each character in this given string, we iterate it. And then in iteration, what we need to do? We need to check if it is a low uh, alphanumeric character or not. So we check if e c h is all num. This is the method in Python to check if it is alphanumeric characters. Okay. Then what we do? We need to add it to our result, but there is a catch. We just don't need uh, to add directly, but we have to add this converted to lowercase. So that's why we have to do ch dot lower. We are converted to lowercase. So once this loop is done, we are good with the string we get, and then we just need to check if it's a palindrome or not. So how do we check that in Python? There is a simple trick. So we can just check like if res is equals to res of 
colon colon minus one. So basically, uh, this uh, checks like if the string is like raised forward and backwards the same. So this is like what we doing like you know right this this is uh, string slicing. This gives the copy of the backward red string and this is the forward red string. So if both are equal, what is that? It's a palindrome. So if not equal, it's a not a palindrome, right? So that's how like we just we can just return it here. And then uh, this approach, what is the space complexity? So here uh, we define one res, this uh, string we have that, that accounts for like n, n because like how much ever we have in uh, like string, like le length of the string, uh, the worst case it could go up to n because like there, there could be only alphanumeric characters in the given string. So th that grow up to n. And then here this also forming some temporary uh, string, right? So this like this is not in place string modification. This is forming some temporary uh, like new string. So that also n. So n plus n it is 2n. So space complexity is 2n and the time complexity is n. So can we reduce the space complexity? The time complexity is optimized. So how do we do this? So instead of using this method, this is very easy thing that even if you do this, uh, submit the uh, problem is solved and you can get it like uh, under like you don't get in TLE with this. Okay. Uh, this is just a space complexity issue. So even uh, here we can have some little more optimization. So we can do it in O of n. So how do we do it O of n? So till here the step remains same, but what changes is, so here let me select another color. What changes? This part of the logic changes. We don't need to have this uh, another string created here. So we can use two pointers and check if it's a palindrome. So let's do that. How to do the two pointers? So let's define like two pointers left and right. Uh, so left should be in slice to zero and right should be in slice to length of the res minus one. So basically this is a pointer, right? This is not a length. So this is what the maximum possible uh, index in the string. So the string is we have is res. So for that res, uh, what we need to do oh, while well, uh, left less than right, we need to compare. So basically, if we take a case of race car, the left starts from here, right starts from here. We need to check each case if left is close to right uh, character I meant. So here, firstly, we have R is close to R. So we move it one step now, left and right becomes here and here. Now A is equals to A. So it's a palindrome uh, at till this point I meant. And then so here, and then next step we check if C is equals to C. That's true until this point, this is a palindrome. And then next uh, we have E. So here uh, we have, we would have incremented left or right. So that would, uh, that would be case where like we would exit. So, and E would be there. So E is same, like even uh, if you read backward or frankward. So it is like uh, now palindrome. Basically we don't need to return anywhere. So if it is not a palindrome, let's say we have a race a car. A car. So in this case, it's not a palindrome. We know that. So here, uh, R is close to R. Uh, I mean, left and right. I'm saying. And then next is A is close to A, and C is close to C. And then here we have E not equal to A. So we have to return as false. So let's do that in code. So while we are uh, left less than right, since we need to just like left less than right comparison only, what we need to check if basically uh, left uh, like firstly we have to check if res of left not equals to left res of right. In that case what we need to do we return false right because it's not a palindrome. Why we need to do this in uh, return false like because like if we return false here we don't need to process further that's why return false because uh, we don't want to keep our machine straining right we have to do it in an optimized way. So we just written here false, we don't need to process another uh, set of iteration. So if this is not the case, what we do, we increment the left plus is equals to one. That is like uh, basically we increment the left pointer and we decrement the right pointer. So at one point of time, these two uh, would have this uh, like uh, violate this condition and then we break out of the loop. So after that, what we can do, we can return true. Why true here? Basically, if this is not a palindrome, it would have been exited from here only. So here we return true. Because this is a palindrome. And then here, what is the space complexity? Space complexity is O of n. Time complexity is O of n. So here, 
uh, even can we reduce the space complexity? Think about it. Here uh, we got only space for result. So this result can uh, can be n, uh, taking n space. So like we don't even want this extra space, right? We can do in place operation. So how do we do that in constant space? Constant space is basically we don't do any additional space. So how do, how can we do that? Is like firstly uh, is same while loop remains, and then for if it is not an alphanumeric character, we just don't compare. We just increment the pointers or like uh, if left we increment we if right we decrement so if it is alphanumeric character only we do comparison by converting into lower case so that way we are doing it in a uh, like we don't use extra space but uh, on the fly we're doing a comparison right so that's how we can do this in o of one Let, let's write the code how do we do this so we would be using the same string s so firstly we would have left and right initialized right so left is equal to g right is equal to length of s minus one So here we are using s, not uh, res. We don't have any type of res here. Basically, we are doing using the same string given. So what we need to do? We need to iterate till left less than right. Let's do this while condition left less than right. And then what we need to check? So we need to check if basically if left uh, whatever character in, in lying the left uh, pointer is a alphanumeric or not. If not, we can just increment this and then we go out of that. We don't need to do comparison, right? So that's why we just have if not, and then uh, s of l is all num. So we're using negation here. That means that uh, this, even if it's written false, it will become two. In this case, what we need to do? We need to increment the left pointer, left plus one. So in other case, what we have right side uh, the same check we need to do. So we, here also we're using not. But here we do have check for right. This is for right pointer. So is all num. What we need to do? We need to just decrement the right pointer. So basically we need to do convergence, right? From we just increment the left pointer and decrement the right pointer. So in else case, what is the else case? So basically these two are alphanumeric characters. You got that, right? So in that case, what we need to do? We need to check the lowercase character after uh, like turning into lowercase character if each character matches or not. If it doesn't match, we return because we don't want to strain our machine. So we just check if S of L uh, and then it's already alphanumeric check. So we don't want to have this alphanumeric check. We, we know that uh, because if we, it reached here, it doesn't actually non alphanumeric character so that's why we don't need to have that check again and then we have to use the non equal to check uh, s of right and is lower i mean like s of right on lower so uh, not equal to what we do we just return we return the uh, false because it's not a palindrome and then here if not the case we increment the left pointer left is equal to plus one right minus equal to one so at the end, it's expected, right? Uh, we just return true. Basically, here uh, if it uh, if it is not a palindrome, it would have been exited here. So for it uh, till it since it reaches this point, it would be palindrome. So now let's see all these three methods in action. Firstly, let me uh, comment this one. So uncomment this. Let me execute this. So this accepted. So let's submit this. We're submitting this first approach. This is O of 2n space complexity. So yeah, so this is accept solution. So for second approach, what changes? This part changes uh, because we use this point test for comparison, right? For, for checking palindrome. So let's uncomment this. So try running this. So yeah, this is uh, like three cases are accepted. Let's try submitting this. So this also accepted solution uh, and we have this beating like 34.45% and then let's comment all this and uncomment our third approach which is O of 1 space complexity and remember all approaches is only O of n space time complexity. So let's run, try running this. So yeah this also accepted for three cases let's try submitting this now.
cool this also acts as a solution so in nutshell we discuss three approaches first our approach uh it is the same thing like first we form the uh, result string and then we compare uh like like basically we check if it is a pandom or not using this one the second approach is optimize over this one basically the way we compare using uh, we compare using the pointers third approach we don't use this intermediate string uh, we do in, in place operation so it's a o of n space complexity and uh, like all approaches are in o of n time complexity because like uh, we each character we treat only once and then uh, if string is of length n so we have the o of n time complexity and that's a wrap thank you for tuning to this sort of hack out if you found this video helpful be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more coding tutorials and bonus content if you have any questions or suggestions for the future topics feel free to leave them in the comments below and the next time happy coding